Uh, we got some questions, and uh, some of these questions have been selected uh, explicitly to, to, to talk about some of the things that I was actually hoping for us to talk about. So this is cool. Yeah. Melissa asks, how does season four compare to previous seasons in regard to filming and emotionally? So the filming process, I would still say season three was harder because in that oh, out in those fields for a couple of weeks with no break. But you guys have, I've I heard a couple know. from a couple of you, of you that were like, oh, this was harder. No, I think yeah. this was harder because there was more... There was more stuff in fields. There was more like walking. The walking, walking. There was talks, the walking, yeah. and then it wasn't just walk and talks, but it was walk and talks in extreme weather yeah. with lots of wind and dust and dirt yeah, yeah. and just hitting you in the face yeah. all the time, yeah. more or less. Um, so it, I, I think, yeah, I think the the general consensus was that this felt harder than last season. We thought last season was harder, but that yeah. we we're like, I think. This one tops it so far. <laughs> okay. I think season four tops That's it. Good to know. Yeah. Uh, emotionally speaking, I, I have come away from this season, the more scenes we do going, wow, this is even more intense than I thought and I remembered. Yeah. Yeah. And it's turning out actually better than I expected. I actually oh, think cool. this is going to be the most impactful season we've ever done emotionally and spiritually. Didn't, we, didn't you say, I, th I feel like you said to me early on, you thought that this was going to be kind of a lighter season in, in a lot of respects, emotionally, for most people. Because there wasn't as much of the big, there's not as much of like the big Bible miracles. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of Bible. There's actually tons of Bible in this series, yeah. in this season. But I just thought, oh, maybe it's not quite, you know, you, we, last year we had, you know, feeding the 5,000, Walk the walking water. on water, yeah. the uh, Jairus and uh, Veronica yeah. and uh, and Eden, uh, Eden, the miscarriage yeah. and... Uh, uh, Barnaby and Shula, mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh, this season doesn't have quite as many of those. And then now I'm watching. I'm going, oh wow, yeah, like, it's, yeah. it's deeper. It's different, and I think it's deeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Daniel asks, is Gaius' son going to be healed this season? Okay, Leslie asks, um, when can we look forward to season four? Uh, I have the other three almost completely memorized. Love you all. Season four is actually coming uh, in theaters. Um, yes. In uh, late July, early February, I see Jelaine clapping, and uh, we're we're looking towards actually releasing all of the episodes in theaters this year, what? not just two of them. Yeah. What? And you've oh. you've filmed some of these, and don't you think like I, I you, sometimes you guys will be like, this belongs in theaters, and we're like, yeah. yes, we're going to do that. So it's uh, probably going to be wow. uh, sometime in uh, January, February, probably February. Uh, so yeah. I'm I'm genuinely shocked. I had no idea. Yeah. Isn't That's cool? amazing. Yeah. Wow. We're not certain. Obviously, but we are, we're <laughs> Judy's out. How are you? <laughs> yeah. um, Debbie asks, "Will we see more Mother Mary and Jesus scenes in season four? We're filming one tomorrow. That's not a huge spoiler. Okay, it's a scene between Mother yeah. Mary and Jesus. That's right. That's why I was saying it's I'm like one. I'm looking forward to tomorrow because it's a yeah, good one. That's a good one. It's really cool. Yeah, and you really, see a lot of like the really unique. Like there's some depth to it, but then there's all like intense depth, like yeah. major depth. Yeah. But then there's also some uh, like really fun, like mother son there's, stuff. There's this stuff that's the hallmark of the chosen, which is situations you've never seen before, yeah, yeah. and maybe never even imagined seeing before, like or even thought of like that situation. Like, wow, I never would have, I never would have imagined what this looks like, and here it is, and this makes and then you go, it makes perfect sense, it makes yeah, total yeah, yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there's teasing, there's like little memories and stuff. It's really cool. I can't wait for it. Uh, Giorgio Bianchi Cilia. Giorgio Bianchi Cilia. Yes. Uh, that's all one word, apparently. So that's a good name. In which season are we going to see the passion of the Christ, please? <laughs> he says, please. <laughs> please. Tell, like, I'm Google looking for my death, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, that's not a spoiler. We've told people season six uh, is going to be the passion of the Christ. Season seven is uh, what happens afterwards. Pilot Jennifer 47. I don't think that's a real name. I don't know. Will you release the first two episodes in the theaters? That is so much fun. Already answered that one. Braden Jacobs, what is one Bible verse that describes season four? Boy. Um, so here's what's... How do you say that without like, giving things away? Yeah. So I will say this. I, I, I said to some people last year, the theme was come, come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Mm. And this season, Jesus is weary and heavy laden. Isn't that true? Very well put. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So last year he was like, I, I give you rest. And this year now he needs He's rest. He's like, oh, no. 
It's all on me. Yeah. Uh, that's like exactly yeah. how episode three goes. That's one of the, se- <laughs> yeah. the scenes. Oh, no, it's all on me. <laughs> no, because as we approach Holy Week, the weight of it starts to hit yeah. Jesus. And he starts to be more, dep- not depressed, but like saddened, not even necessarily that he's going to die, which is, of course, sad, but that he has to that there's no choice, and also that his followers aren't quite getting it, and the religious leaders aren't quite getting it, and Jerusalem isn't getting it. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of scenes that we've been filming where, like, in the middle of the scene, we didn't even plan it, where you just start, plan, plan it, where you just start getting emotional yeah. because the weight of what's coming and what's happening around you and, the, and your friends, there's a lot of friendship, there's a lot of, like, everyone's getting closer. And the inevitability of all of it. Yeah. It's, it's just unavoidable. Yeah. And we start shifting towards intentional. So if you think about maybe the first couple of years of Jesus's ministry, he was saying, don't tell people that I'm the Messiah. Like he was really pouring into others. And then we start to approach Holy Week and he starts orchestrating things. Like it's almost like the, the because you and I talk about this a lot mm-hmm. when we're planning a scene. How much does Jesus actually know? Because yeah. tradition is just like, oh, he knows everything. But there's clear in scripture that sometimes things moved him and and, yeah and that the father revealed to him and that he said i got this power from the father and so we as an actor you have to deal with that like am i playing this as with god goggles on yeah or am i playing this with my human you know eyes and uh we 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 play with that a little bit and this year as we approach season as you approach holy week there's far more of the this is happening on purpose to cause this to happen Mm -hmm. to bring x about yeah it's very a lot of that yeah, it's like walking that line. And it's sad. Like, yeah. now I have to do this. Um, so this question is specifically from you, from George X. Xanthus, George H. Xanthus, George Harrison Xanthus. Uh, that name sounds familiar. Um, he might be the actor who plays John. He says, I have a question for Jonathan. Does he still have my Tupperware container? See, the funny thing about George H. Xanthus is that his memory kind of gets a little shoddy. I actually gave it to him at the end of season three. So uh, I do not, George. Okay. You have your own Tupperware container. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. Great. So um, sorry we had to air out that dirty line. Yeah, that was but, awkward. Yeah. Uh, I didn't realize you had that level of angst. Yeah. Well, you just, Temper. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, oh, wait till, yeah, it's, well. It, Wait till, wait till you see season four. <laughs> <laughs> Labrina asks, without giving too much away, what season four episode do you think we should be on the lookout for that will be the most impactful and why? You can't pick one. I can. Can you? I don't know. There's a few. Episode seven, man. Oh. That's like... Yeah. That's intense. I mean... And the ending of it, we, we filmed it. some of that last <laughs> night. What like, about four, though? Uh, four, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a, I mean, there's a, probably a sliding scale. Yeah. Like, there's so many. Yeah. This is a really impactful, like, this is an intense season. Yeah. Uh, I can't, I, I'm getting more and more excited about you seeing it. But uh, you, you also asked why. Episode seven for me has an, a conclusion, like the last seven or eight minutes, um, are what I believe to be some of the most impactful stuff we've ever done. Um, The writing of it, uh, I have to give credit to, uh, I mean, all three of us obviously always contribute, but uh, this was uh, one of my co-writers who who came up with this idea that is just beautiful. um, And it's kind of a summary of things that have happened with this immense scriptural truth about the, the fact that life on this side of heaven is both bitter and sweet. And that even when Jesus would do good things, sometimes he would be sad. And sometimes during sadness, he would talk about joy and how we're still trying to wrestle with it. Even today, we can't quite make sense of it. Why does Jesus have to suffer? Um, And uh, we we talk about that. And it's it's jaw dropping, I think. Mm. Like I cry all the time reading it, filming it, all that. 